Welcome to Activity 8 on Direct Variation. This is a part of Unit 3's Linear Relations. Direct Variation describes a situation where the dependent variable varies directly with the independent variable. In mathematical terms, we write y varies directly with x. That symbol is the Greek letter alpha. It means varies directly. The algebraic model of a direct variation is in the form y equals mx where m is the rate of change, otherwise known as the slope in graphical terms. Let's consider a parking fees example. The Hamilton Airport charges $39.95 a week for parking. Parking costs depend on the number of weeks parked. If you let c represent the cost of parking and n represent the number of weeks, the algebraic model is c is equal to 39.95 n. We can say that C varies directly with N, and it varies by the rate of change of 39.95 a week. A graph of this is shown below. Because parking cost depends on the number of weeks parked, the number of weeks is along the independent axis, and the cost is along the dependent axis. This situation varies directly. It's indicated by the fact that it goes directly through the origin. The graphical model of a direct variation situation will always pass through the origin, 0, 0. Trip to local minimart. A, lo a trip to the local minimart is represented graphically in the image shown below. In the model, distance varies directly with time. Each segment of the graph represents a different aspect of the trip. Assume that distance equals zero is home, which means that whenever the graph is along the x-axis or the independent axis, that means that the distance from home is zero. So at the very beginning of the graph at zero minutes, the person is at home. And at the very end of the graph, at 28 minutes, sorry, 25 minutes, the person is at home as well. Any time where they are not on that independent or horizontal axis, they are not at home. A storyline that describes this trip could be as follows. Jason's mom sent him to the store to pick up milk. He drove four kilometers in five minutes. Jason was in the store for three minutes. When he left, he headed straight to the post office to pick up the mail. He drove four kilometers in four minutes. Jason spent two minutes inside the post office. After leaving the post office, Jason drove straight home. And the eight kilometer trip home took 11 minutes. Here's a question. What do the two horizontal lines on the graph mean? Explain your reasoning. When you're ready, come see our